So hello there and welcome to another Feature Friday. So today we're going to talk about controlling the flow of your tasks that you may have in your job plans. So this is not a new feature in Maximo, but it is often overlooked. So if you want to be a bit more prescriptive about which tasks happen before other tasks, this is a great way to do it. So this video is a little superficial. We're just going to touch on a very simple use case here. Um, we're not going to talk about flow actions and things like that. That might be for another feature Friday here as we uh, as we get to more of these. So you may have to explore this functionality on your own uh, quite a bit, but uh, again, maybe we'll do some uh, more videos on this sort of thing. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start out by modifying a work type. And as you know, that's under administration, organizations, bring up any particular org, and then go down here to work order options and click work type. Now I've already created a special work type just for demonstration purposes, but you could use any work type that you wish to uh, have flow control um, underneath it. So you'll notice I just expand flow here and it's just your typical work order class. The, the flow type is, or the work type is flow. And what's important here is the start and complete status. And so you can choose all the different, or from the list of all the different work order statuses that, um, that you wish to work with. The point here is that flow control will begin when a task is in a scheduled status. Um, and the work, the flow will end when it is in a complete status. And you'll see examples of that here as we uh, keep going. So that's your first step is to modify the work types that you wish to have flow control um, invoked with them. And then of course, click OK, save those, and we'll move on to the next step. OK, so the next step is to create a job plan. And of course, I already have a, a job plan created for this purpose, so I'll just bring that one up. Okay, so the thing to do with job plans, if you want the job plan to be the driver of your flow control, it, you have to set up the, the task and such here in a, in a certain way, okay? So the first thing that you'll notice is that this particular job plan um, is been checked as flow controlled. So that indicates that when this job plan is used, the resulting work order um, will immediately be set to flow controlled um, as well. Then on the tasks themselves, in this case, I just have three tasks. And really the only thing I'm going to do here, or I have done, is going to establish the predecessors. So I want to have the first task to be finished, completed, before the second task um, is then able to be started. And then I want the second task to be completed um, before the third task uh, begins. So all you do here at the job plan level, at the task level, is I'm gonna open up the second level here, the second task, and down here towards the bottom, you will see there's a field for predecessors. And so in the second task, I've made the first task the predecessor. Okay. And then if I go to the third task, and I roll down, you can see that I've made the second task the predecessors. And for our simple example here, that's really all you have to do here at the job plan level. So you set your predecessors in your tasks, and then you make sure that the job plan is checked to be a uh, flow control. Okay, so now let's go create a work order. So I've been there before, as you can imagine. So I'm gonna go to work order tracking and come over here to the right, click work order. And I'm gonna go find that flow work type to start with. And then there's a, another important thing to do here is that I do not wish the status changes for the work order to flow down into the task uh, as they would out of the box. I want that to occur by way of the flow control that I've set. 
So make sure you uncheck that. I'm going to come down here to the job plan, and I know my job plan is 1041, and tab out of that. It found my job plan. That's a really good thing. And you'll notice over here on the right-hand side that the work order has now been set under flow control. We also want to take a look on the plans tab here before we save this document. There are my three tasks that came over from the job plan. Go ahead and save the work order, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so let's take a pause here for a moment. So if you have business logic that perhaps is in the form of an automation script, or maybe you're using our rules manager product to control which statuses happen next, or you have requirements uh, that have to be met before you can move into another status, that may or may not impact uh, what flow control is trying to do with those tasks and those statuses as well. So be on the lookout for that. In case you see flow control doing something odd, it may be because you're running in conflict with some of the business rules that you have set. So just watch out for that. Okay, so the next things we're going to do is change the status here of this work order. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go from uh, waiting for approval. I'm just going to go ahead and approve the work order. Start the process here, get that going. And then now depending on your business processes and such as to what your life cycle of statuses is will determine what you do next. Uh, best practice typically once something is approved, then we would move it into a scheduled status. Okay, and let's see if I get a message here. Yes, I do. I need to set a schedule date. So I will go ahead and, uh, and do that as well. And again, it really depends on how your system is set up and uh, some of the business rules that you have that will depend on some of these extra fields that you'll have to deal with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change the status again. And I'm going to say I really want this thing scheduled. And there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to make somebody an owner. We'll let the staff own this one. And then finally, I'm going to say in progress. This work is now in progress. And we click OK. I'm going to switch over to the Actuals tab. And you'll notice that the tasks have changed statuses. So the very first task is now in a scheduled status, right? The work order may be in progress, but now I need to manipulate that first task. You'll also notice that the other tasks, the two and uh, second and third task, are still in waiting for approval. They, their statuses have not changed because the workflow has not, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, flow has not uh, been invoked yet on them. Now just for fun, I'm going to try and do something wrong here, and I'm going to try and change the status of the second task to something other than waiting for approval. And you'll notice I don't even have that option. So that's the flow control not giving me that option because the first task has not been completed yet. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the first task has now been field complete. Okay. So that task is field complete. And then I'm going to go ahead and say the first task is actually completed. And click OK. Now that the first task is complete, then the second task can move into the scheduled mode. I'm going to go ahead and put the second task into in progress. It's now in progress, and I'm going to go ahead and move it to complete. Skipping a step there. Second task is complete. Now the third task is moved into a scheduled uh, state, and I'm going to skip a step here. Actually, let me show you something. Notice that the work order is still in progress. That status has not changed. 
When I put that third task into a completed status, again, kind of skipping a couple of steps there, third task is complete, and additionally, the flow causes the work order to go into a complete status. Okay, so admittedly, a very simple example of how to use flow control, just defining your predecessors in the job plan tasks, applying that job plan to a work order, and then seeing how those tasks statuses will change and move to the, to the next based on that flow control. We'll do flow actions in another video here in, in a couple of weeks. So hopefully that was helpful. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you.